Hi! Now that you've learned a bit about physical computing and tested some programs on your device, let's dive a little deeper into our micro bit and the make code editor. All of the programs we're going to write in this course are going to be in a language called JavaScript, but don't worry if you've never used this language before. Throughout the course, we're going to build on and apply some programming concepts you've already learned, as well as learn some brand new topics that are specific to physical computing. So as long as you've seen basic programming concepts in any language, you should be ready to dive in. Let's explore the make code editor and how to run programs on your micro bit in a bit more detail before you start developing your own programs. Let's first explore this main page. As you develop programs, you may see some of the ones you've written shown up in this My Projects section. These are locally saved on the browser, and we'll look at how we can more securely save and share our programs in a bit. For now, we'll just want to click the purple New Project button and give it a name. I'll call this one First Name. All of the microbit commands can be found in this library in the middle of your screen, but note that they will default to showing the block version and will automatically change to text once they're dragged in. You'll see that there are many different categories and we'll be exploring them as we go through the course. We've already learned about the show string and show number commands, so if I want to write my name, I'll go to the show string command and drag it in. On the left side of the screen is the microbit simulator. Let's see what all these buttons do. If I click the play button, my program will run, and the refresh button will restart the program from the beginning. This bug icon will open debug mode, which will be really helpful as we develop more complex programs. You can click this snail icon to slow your code down, because sometimes the computer runs our code so fast we can't even see the commands being performed. Click the Exit Debug mode to go back to the editor. This button will mute audio if you've added any to your program, and if you click this button, the simulator will expand to full screen. This could be helpful when there's a lot going on. To rename the program, I can click down here and type whatever name I want, and clicking the Save button will download the program file that can be dragged onto the microbit device to run if your device is not paired. If you want to share your program, you can click this Share button at the top of the screen and then publish it. The URL or QR code can be used to share your program in an email, text, or on social media to show the awesome projects you've developed. Now let's explore some more commands with Microbit. 